Okay, girls, welcome to Trail Signs. So bear with me. I am doing this from home. And the curriculum is a little modified. So hi, girls. My name's Karina. And today we're going to be doing Trail Signs. So I know this is like a scary time for you and your family, but here at Girl Scouts of Central California South, we are here for you and we will help you get along the way as best we can. This is why we've decided to offer our virtual programs for Girl Scouts. So please be patient with us as these videos are raw, meaning they are being recorded in a majority of our homes where our families along with our pets we have may live. So some of us could be using our cell phones like me to record or webcams to record images might come out cut in and out sound may not be the best you may hear voices in the background or animals barking so i'm apologizing ahead of time but we'll get the, through this together so we're going to be doing trail signs after we do the promise so let's go ahead and say the promise remember our sign on my honor, I will try to serve God in my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. And let's go ahead and do the law, since it's up. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. Okay, trail signs. So the purpose of trail signs is to mark a trail or blaze it to help hikers follow a given path. It's used to indicate things such as the beginning, the end of a trail, or to change a direction or an intersection. Um, so other things can be used to mark trails. So paint can be used on trunks, piles of rocks, also called ducks, are used, and affixed markers are used also. So those are examples of those. Can also use things called etchings, flags, and um, ones that are tied around the trunk as shown. So the ones that I'm going to be using for trail signs today are got some pebbles, some other pebbles, big rock, some gray ones, and the little sticks. So I'm mostly going to try to use the big ones just so they're easier to see. Okay, so let's get started. You should have a trail signs packet, and in there it has these little trail signs. Pretty hard to see. So let's start with the first one. So you can be using pebbles, or even if you don't have rocks or access to sticks or anything, go ahead and use bottle caps or things that you can use to, you know, that lay flat and then stack up on top of each other. So the first one we're gonna do is, we're gonna do straight ahead girls. So for straight ahead, you're gonna use a big one and then the one that goes on top. So that one did not work. So let me zoom up. Flat on. So that's straight ahead. Now, if I would want to make a trail sign that says turn to the right, I would just add a stone or pebble. to go to the right. So this would tell the hiker to go to the right on the trail. Now, to go to the left, we would just move that one to the left. Now, if we want to tell them not to go this way, we would just make up a little 
rock border, and this tells the hiker, do not go this way. Okay, so now I want to tell them, go straight ahead. So as you can see, it's an arrow and it's pointing straight ahead. That's to tell the hiker to go straight ahead. So again, you can be using bottle caps or little pebbles or sticks, just as long as they have the concept of straight ahead. All right, now, girls, what do you think it would look like to go turn to the right? You move it to the right, right, perfect. So, I don't have a lot of room on this table. But. So, you want to get an arrow pointing to the right. And that would tell the hiker, oh, an arrow. probably should use pebbles for this one, but you want to get that V type of thing that goes to the right, and that would tell the hiker to go to the right. Now to go to the left, again, we would just flip it. Okay, that's just a mess, hold on. So this would be to go to the left. You would take your turn to the left. And now let's do the I have gone home. Okay, for this one. So it should make a circle and then you have your little thing in the middle. So that would indicate that the person has gone home. So, um, let's see here. They also have one that reads danger. So for that one, I'm going to go ahead and get some sticks out. So they're using. have their first triangle and then three I'm just scared for my table so I'm just gonna <laughs> Get a little one up here. All right. So this sign right here would indicate that there's danger on that trail. So we wouldn't want to go that way. And let's see here. We also have these cool signs on here that would be on branches and that's trail forks to go to the right. Now we could do this sign right here. And this one would indicate to turn around and go back. So for that one, we have our middle. I should make this bigger. Okay. 
<clears throat> so this would mean turn around and go back. So if you ever see this on a trail or hike, turn around and go back. Okay. So another fun one is camp this way. So on this one, if you see this on the trail, it means a camp's that way, or you can camp that way. So let's try to make that one. So I already have the arrow from this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and take off that. From one of these. And if I can break that one in half, it'll be easier. And then, all right, so um. So what if I would have to make this one smaller too, I guess. Because it's interfering. So that would mean camp this way. And let's do, um, which one should we do next? Uh, I know okay, so another one we could do is you make the number and that would tell the number of paces in the direction indicated. So for instance, I'll do a, I'll do this with little pebbles because it's going to probably be easier. Number. So that's clearly a number seven. <laughs> And then I'm going to tell this person to go to the right. Okay. So this would tell my hiker to go seven paces to the right. So on these type of trails, you can put whatever number of paces inside that circle that you make, five, seven, eight, nine, and then you can switch the arrow to the left or the right or even straight ahead. And that would tell the hiker to go that amount of number of paces and to which direction you're indicating. Now, now, 
and so here it is. So FYI girls, big rocks do not make good paper holders on glass tables. <laughs> All right, so since this is pre-recorded, you're gonna have a little homework or work to do right after this video. So I want you to look at the other trail signs on the sheet and start imagining other ways you can use trail signs on a trail. And I want you to create your own trail. So you're gonna need access to several things that you can use. Again, if you don't, if you can't go outside and gather branches or anything like that, go ahead and use bottle caps or um, those little pop-off things that pop off the soda cans. You can use those if your parent helps you, you know, take them off so you don't cut yourself. So you're gonna get 10 minutes to do that and have a like a good perimeter to work on. I know mine wasn't the best. So go ahead and make your own trail sign. And then I want you to share it with girls and your other troop and stuff. And that should be good and you've earned your trail signs catch. I know it's different when it's virtual and we can't all gather and work on it together. It's not as fun. It takes a shorter time on these videos. And usually we would end our meetings with the friendship circle, but can't do that right now. So I can get in spirit with you. But have fun and enjoy the rest of this time that you get to be with your families and stuff and be safe out there, okay? So hopefully we'll get to see each other soon. Bye girls and have fun. Yeah. Bye. -bye.